Shalom, shalom, shalom. Grace and peace, grace and peace, grace and peace. How you how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How are you doing? Well, once again, family, I'm just jumping on just to reiterate truth according to his word. I'm just jumping on really quick. And I just want to expound on the truth of the gospel. I just want to reiterate and recapture his word so that it can be put within its proper context. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Grace and peace, Abiyah. Gideon, grace and peace, grace and peace, grace and peace. Um, I'm just jumping on in this particular message, in this particular uh, video, just to reiterate truth according to, the, according to his word. It's going to be very brief. Um, it's going to be straight to the point so that you're able to understand the gospel and the power that comes from the gospel. Because we have brothers and we have sisters who, who is out teaching another gospel, which is not another gospel. It's only one gospel, and the gospel is the death, burial, and it's the resurrection of Christ. That is the gospel. If you wanted to believe in your heart, confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you shall be saved. That's the gospel. So if you're not teaching that, you are not proclaiming the gospel. You are not teaching the word of God. Uh, you're, you're not teaching truth. Yo, 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 yo. Grace and peace, grace and peace, grace and peace. And we have to understand that. Brother Paul said, even if, even if an angel come out of the heaven and preach another gospel, curse is that angel. So what about you? You are preaching another gospel when you begin to add and take away from the word. You creating your own doctrine. When you begin to twist scriptures, man, uh, 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 adding your own interpretation to the word. Now you creating your own doctrine. Now you create another doctrine, another gospel, and it's not another gospel. And you putting yourself as a curse. You putting yourself a, a curse. You making yourself to be a curse. That's why we have to understand what the gospel is. And it's the death burial. It's the resurrection of Christ. That is the gospel. Go read the book of Mark chapter 16. When Christ resurrected from the tomb, how he first made himself known and was seen by Mary Magdalene. And she went to and from to spread the gospel to her brothers and her sister and the residents within the country. And they did not believe. So Christ made himself known as well, and they refused to believe. So he had to rebuke their unbelief. And he said, go and spread the gospel to every creature. He that believeth in me that I have resurrected and is baptized by the Holy Spirit shall be saved. But he that does not believe it shall be condemned. And yesterday I, I had shown you through the word that, that Brother Paul said the gospel according to scripture is the fact that Christ died and he resurrected on the third day. That's the gospel, the death, burial, and the resurrection of Christ. That is the gospel. That is the word of God, family. That is the word of God. It's not even part of the gospel, to be honest with you. It's not. That's why we can really understand. Understand what the gospel, everything outside of that is not of the gospel. We all know that, 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 that Joseph is not the biological father of Christ. But whether he was or wasn't, still not part of the gospel. That's what I'm trying to let you know too, that, that we have to pinpoint what the gospel is. It is the death, burial, and it's the resurrection of Christ. Whether Christ wore sandals or didn't wear sandals, it's not part of the gospel. We know he wore sandals, but whether he did or didn't, is not part of the gospel. Whether Christ ate fish or he did not eat fish, it's not part of the gospel. But we have brothers and sisters going back and forth on what Christ did. Did he walk on water? Did he not walk on water? We can go through the word and show you how he walked on water. But whether he walked on water or not is not of the gospel. The gospel is the death, burial, and it's the resurrection. If we can really understand that, then we'll be able to comprehend what is the gospel. And what's not the gospel. But absolutely, bro. You know, we are brothers and sisters going back and forth about whether Joseph 
whether father or not, whether Christ ate meat or not, uh, whether you have to keep the law or not, whether his name was Jesus or Yeshua or not, whether the Hebrews were white or black, whatever the case may be. It's not of the gospel. The gospel is the death, burial, and it's the resurrection of Christ. And if you choose to make anything else other than that your doctrine, you now bring forth another doctrine and shame on you. Hallelujah. It's not part of the gospel neither. <laughs> it's not part of the gospel. That's why I really, I really thank the Holy Spirit so much because he really taught me what is the gospel. So I understand anything outside of the death, burial, and the resurrection of Christ. When it's being preached, if it's not that, it's not of the gospel. And I don't have the time nor the energy to entertain it. Period. I will entertain it sometime, but I try not to. I try not to. Hallelujah. The book of Galatians, chapter, chapter 1. Jeremy, shalom, grace and peace, grace and peace, grace and peace. Now, brothers say we can't eat meat. We can eat meat. The dietary law, we need a word tassel. We don't need a word tassel. Keep a feast day. You don't have to keep a feast day. Keep a new moon. We, you don't have to keep a new moon. The Sabbath is Saturday. The Sabbath is Sunday. The Sabbath is based on the moon. None of that stuff part of the gospel. The gospel is the death, burial, and it's the resurrection of Christ. That's all I know. And I refuse to deviate from that sound teaching. Book of Galatians, chapter 1, verses 6 through 12. I'm going to read it once and I'm going to close out the message. Hey, 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 Miss Finley, how you doing? I ain't seen you in a while. Grace and peace, grace and peace, grace and peace. Hallelujah. Stick around, please. And family, please reshare the video if you don't mind. Please reshare the video so that others on the page, on your page, can be saved as well. You know, we have too many brothers adding and taking away from the gospel. Too many teaching their own doctrine, you know, putting themselves as a curse according to what Paul said, who was influenced by the Holy Spirit. Please reshare this video so that others on your page can receive the truth of the gospel. If you agree that what I'm saying has no leaven in it. Hallelujah. I'm going to get started now, family. I'm going to read it once. I'm going to close out the message. And the reason. It says, I marvel that you are so soon removed from him. That called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. He said, I am, I, I am surprised. I marvel. Because I came before you and I told you the death, burial, and the resurrection of Christ. But I cannot believe it. That you allow someone else to build on the foundation of Christ. Brother Paul said, I am in shock. That you are so removed from the gospel, which is belief in the death, burial, and in the resurrection of Christ. I cannot believe it, you. I cannot believe it. what's wrong with you. He said, who had bewitched you? How did you turn away from the sound teaching of Christ? Trying to be entangled with the law. Trying to be justified by the law. Trying to be justified through a dietary law. Trying to be justified through the custom of Moses. I am appalled. I'm ashamed. I can't believe it to you. You understood that Christ died for your sin. You understood that he rose again on the third day. You understood that by his stripes you all been healed. But you allowed the brothers and sisters to build on the foundation of Christ convinced and persuaded you like the serpent did Eve to eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil? You want to learn the law now, huh? You want to learn about lying. You want to learn about stealing. You want to learn about fornication. You want to learn how to, how, to, how to get caught up in affairs, huh? You want to learn the knowledge of good and evil, huh? You don't want to walk by faith. You don't want to be washed through the blood of the lamb. You don't want to be exalt Christ, son. You want to have your own congregation. You want to have your own church. You want to have your own denomination. huh? You want to be glorified. You want to receive the glory. You don't want to get glory to Christ, son. You want to receive the glory. You want to be the man in your city, huh? I can't believe it to you. Because you understood, at least I thought you did, the gospel of Christ. He said, I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. Which is not another. It's not another gospel, family. The gospel is the death, burial, and it's the resurrection of Christ. That is the word of God. From Genesis to Revelation is the gospel. 
That is the word of the Father. Anything outside of the death, burial, and the resurrection of Christ, it's not, a, it's, it's not the gospel. The prophets of old prophesied how the word became flesh or would become flesh. Abraham understood the promise of Christ. Moses said that the father shall raise up a prophet like unto myself and him you need to hear to. Isaiah said that, that, that a child shall be born, a son shall be given. And he will be the almighty power, the everlasting the father and the prince of peace. Jeremiah prophesied how Judas will betray Christ for 30 shekels of silver. David prophesied in the book of Psalms how he will resurrect. Uh, um, Amos or Jose prophesied how out of Egypt my child shall be called. The law and the prophets both testified of Christ. Christ came. He fulfilled the law and the prophets. And he condemned the law of sin and death in his flesh. So that the righteousness of the law, which is of the Holy Spirit, will be fulfilled in those who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit in faith in Christ. It's not another gospel. The gospel is the death burial. And it's the resurrection of Christ. It's of which is not another. But there are some that are troubling you. And wish to pervert. The gospel of Christ. Folks out here want to pervert the gospel of Christ. Trying to get you to return back to the law, statute, commandments. Not understanding that the law, statute, commandments. Was fulfilled in Christ. For Christ is the end of the law to those who believeth unto righteousness. And if you are led by his spirit, you're not under no law, statute, commandments. Because we know to walk by faith through the anointing of the Holy Spirit, which fulfills the law, statute, commandments. Right? Let's continue to read. And say, I marvel that you are so removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another. But there be some that are troubling you and wish to pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we or an angel from heaven preach another gospel unto you that which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. If anyone come and preach another doctrine unto you outside of the gospel, let him be a curse. If you want to teach about whether the earth is flat or round and want to add a few scriptures into that understanding, you're preaching another gospel. If you want to preach how women can't wear pants or not and you have to eat a diet, keep a dietary law, which is of the, uh, of the first covenant, which is obsolete, you're teaching another gospel. You're teaching another gospel. And Brother Paul said, if anyone come and teach another gospel, let him be a curse. I will give a darn if it's an angel out of the heavens. Let him be a curse. Because you're misleading the people. You're lying to the people. You scatter in the flock. Let them be a curse. The gospel is Christ. Let them be a curse. Anything outside of that, you're lying and truth ain't in you. If you're teaching that, 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 that Joseph is the biological father, let him be a curse because that's not the gospel. We don't have time to go back and forth about anything else other than Christ, period. I don't care what it is. If you're around here teaching that Christ wore orange Nike sandals, that is not the gospel. We don't have time for that. Period. We don't have time for that. Period. We ain't got time to go back and forth about genealogy, about the law, about damnation, about sin. Folks need to hear life in Christ. Women are hanging from strip pole. They want to be saved too. Alcoholics are strong out on the liquor bottle. They want to be delivered too. The household is without fathers. They need to be delivered too. And you can only be delivered through the power of the gospel. The power of the gospel will make you put down the liquor bottle if the liquor bottle is overtaking your life. The power of the gospel will make you get out of the same get out of the bed with the same sex. If you understand that, that you land down with the same sex and not of the Holy Spirit, period. It's about Christ and the death, burial, and it's the resurrection of Christ. Folks need to hear life. Folks need to hear the ministry of, of, of reconciliation, not damnation. Folks tired of being homosexuals. Brothers are tired of being effeminate. Folks tired of spending all their nickels, quarters, and dimes at the liquor store. 
Folks want to be delivered from that lifestyle, but look at you. You at your computer creating another doctrine other than the death, burial, and the resurrection of Christ. You want to elaborate how Joseph is the father. How we must return back to the law. How Moses is still alive. How Enoch is walking to and from earth. You creating another doctrine that should not be so. The gospel is the death, burial, and it's the resurrection of Christ. That is the word of God. That's what's going to deliver you. That's what's going to save you. That's what's going to set you free from the bondage of you. Folks got, out, folks got seven Bibles at the desk trying to use scripture to justify how Christ was walking around in Nike sandals. No, he wasn't. And even if he was, that's still not the gospel. The gospel is the death, burial, and it's the resurrection of Christ. Period. According to scriptures. Right? It said, but though we are an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. As we said before, so now I say again, if any man, any man, woman, or child preach any other gospel unto you that you have received, let them be a curse. Let them be a curse. I don't give a darn who it is. Ray, Ray, Pookie them. Let them be a curse if they come to you and they're not preaching the gospel. Jehovah Witnesses knocking on your door. If they're not preaching the death, burial, and the resurrection of Christ, let them be a curse. The, the Muslim people, Nation of Islam, whatever the case may be. Rastafarians, all that positive vibe. I get that. I feel that. I love that. But that's not the gospel. The gospel is the death, burial, and it's the resurrection of Christ. You have to understand that. Or you will find yourself like Eve being seduced by the doctrine of demon. Missing a lie with a truth. Is it true that the father said you should not? He ain't going to surely die. When he said not to eat. But he said if you do eat, you will die. We have to understand the gospel, family. The gospel is the death burial. It's the resurrection of Christ. Period. I'm about to wrap it up, family. As we said before, so now I say again. If any man preach any other gospel unto you that you have received, let him be a curse. For do I now persuade man or do I or God? Or do I seek the please man? I don't seek the please man, family. Christ didn't seek the please man neither. He said, I did not come to bring peace. I came to bring a sword. I came to bring the spirit of the word. You snakes. You hypocrites. You Pharisee. You Sadducee. You are of your father, the devil. I ain't came to tickle your ear. I came to give you truth. Like me or hate me. But you will understand I'm here to give you truth and your dietary law is not the truth. Your little feast days is not the truth. That little old wrinkled lamb that you trying to slaughter is not of Christ. It's not the truth. And stop missing old wine with new wine skin or you will destroy yourself and that bottle. It said, for do I now persuade man or God or do I seek to please man? For if I get pleased, man, I should not be the servant of Christ. But I testify unto you, brother, that the gospel which you preach uh, of me is not after man. For did I neither receive it of man, nor was I taught it, but it came by the revelation of Jesus Christ. What I'm saying to you, family, it's not of man. It's not of teachings of the man. It's not the doctrine of man. I only received the revelation. Through Christ. Through the spirit of Christ. Period. I'm not here to please man. I'm not here to miss a lie with the truth. I'm not here to compromise with you. I'm not here to give you a, a green pass. When you did wrong. <laughs> I'm only here to give you truth. So that you're able to be delivered. From damnation. The gospel is the death burial. And it's the resurrection of Christ. I cannot say anything else. Outside of that. Your little dietary law is not the gospel. Period. If you choose to refrain from pork, so let it be. 
If you choose to eat pork, so let it be. But what I can't say, you refraining from pork, it won't save you. And you choosing to eat pork won't condemn you. Because salvation, nor damnation, is not through a pork. It's only through faith in Christ and unbelief in Christ. And that's the gospel. Um, that's about it, family. I just wanted to jump on really quick. I just want to reiterate truth according to his word, family. We have to understand the gospel. The gospel is the death, burial, and it's the resurrection of Christ. Christ said, everyone that believeth in me shall be saved. And he that does not believe it in me won't, uh, will be condemned. Will be condemned. So, you know, you add in all these extra stipulations to the gospel, you create another doctrine. That should not be so. You wishing to pervert the gospel of Christ. You putting yourself under a curse. Telling brothers and sisters that 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 um they can't celebrate a Christmas tree or or Halloween. The kids can't enjoy themselves. You can't acknowledge the fact that that it's your birthday. You too holy than thou now. You too religious. Uh, don't tell me happy birthday. It's supposed to be pagan. My kids can't celebrate Christmas. It's supposed to be pagan. I can't say Jesus' name. It's supposed to be pagan. Halloween and Easter and 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 Thanksgiving's pagan. The word church is pagan. Sunday worship is pagan. The days of the mid month is is pagan. Days of the week, the month of the year, everything is pagan. That's why we should speak life in Christ. Believe it in Him. Receive His Spirit, so that you're able to be saved from the untorn generation. That's about it, family. Y'all be blessed. Um, once again, I believe next month I'm gonna start a Q and A for a minute. Um, been teaching for been teaching on these particular topics for the past couple of years now. I may want to switch it up a little bit. Um, whoever may have questions, we the Holy Spirit have answers. So starting the month of September, um, I may start a Q and A. Um, come back on tomorrow, y'all willing, and uh, bring forth another message. Tomorrow my birthday, so. Um, I'm still going to bring forth another message. And I am going to enjoy myself on my birthday. I ain't religious. Neither is I'm religious. I'm just a child of God who is, who is enjoying his liberty in Christ. Y'all be blessed. Grace and peace.